Two of the following videos are true, while the other one is trash. Can you spot the fake? Round two, let's begin. First, take a galvanized nail and some bare copper wire and wrap the copper wire around the nail a few times before trimming it off. Then repeat this step four more times. Next, carefully place each nail in its own spot of an ice cube tray, making sure that the copper wire reaches into an adjacent spot without touching the next nail, just as you can see here in this top-down view. Notice that there should be a gap where two spots of the ice cube tray aren't connected. Next, take some vinegar and fill up each spot on the ice cube tray, making sure that each copper wire is submerged. You've now made a multi-cell electrochemical battery. If I add an LED to complete this circuit by bridging that gap, the LED will light up. Before doing so, I'll turn off the lights to hopefully see it better. Placing the LED with the leads dipping down into the vinegar and you can see it's lighting up. Turning the lights off fully and now you can really see it glow. If you take a weight and attach it to a string, you've created a pendulum that can swing back and forth freely. However, you can actually use light to affect the motion of a pendulum. Not just any amount of light though, this is one of the world's brightest flashlights and it's so powerful that it needs its own active cooling system to not overheat. And you have to be careful not to place objects too close to it or it can melt and burn them. Like you can see here with this black bubble wrap. This bubble wrap being black is actually important for the way I'm going to use it, which is attaching it to the weight of a pendulum to make it have a larger frontal area. The color black absorbs more light, so when I turn on the flashlight and drop the pendulum, so much light will exchange momentum with the sail that it will quickly come to rest rather than swing back and forth. Don't try this at home since you could damage the flashlight or catch something on fire by putting objects too close to it, but here's what it looks like in practice. The pendulum abruptly came to a stop and then started to smoke and ultimately shriveled up as you can see here. This is a bimetallic strip with the handle. That means it's two thin pieces of different metal alloys attached together. These metal alloys expand different amounts when heated. So if you apply heat to this strip, the object will bend to the left. When it cools down, it returns to being straight. If I instead heat from the left side instead, it will still bend to the left since it's not a temperature difference, but rather a difference in thermal expansion coefficients that drives the deformation. You've now seen all three videos. Pause to vote in the comments which one you thought was fake. Nails, copper wire, and vinegar can be used to create a battery and light up an LED. Walter White famously made a similar battery to jumpstart his RV, although it's up for debate whether this would have actually worked the way he did it. A bimetallic strip also does bend the same way, regardless of whether it's heated from the right side or the left side. That means although this super bright flashlight is strong enough to melt plastic if you're not careful, it did not bring this pendulum to a stop abruptly. I tried my best to edit out the copper plate below, but it's actually the copper and the magnet interacting that causes electromagnetic braking and slows the pendulum to a stop. 